Welcome to the American Republic, your go-to channel for the latest conservative news updates. Stay informed and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Today, we're discussing the NBA's recent decision to freeze all new spending and hiring, citing economic headwinds as the reason for the belt tightening. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen major organizations cutting costs due to economic concerns. Disney, ESPN, and even tech companies have had to make tough decisions to weather the storm. But the NBA situation might be a little different, you see, a few years ago, the NBA went woke, embracing the Black Lives Matter movement and social justice activism. They made it clear that they were more than just a sports league, that they were a platform for social change. And while that might have sounded good at the time, it's now catching up with them, the NBA's decision to prioritize social justice over basketball has alienated a significant portion of its fan base. People don't want politics in their sports. They want to watch their favorite teams and players compete at the highest level. And when the NBA decided to put activism first, they lost sight of that. Now, the economy might be the official reason for the NBA's decision to cut spending and limit hiring, but we can't ignore the fact that the league's social justice agenda has played a role in this. When you prioritize activism over your core product, you're bound to lose support from some of your customers. And when those customers start to tune out, your bottom line suffers, this is a lesson that many companies are learning the hard way. You can't please everyone, and when you try to cater to a specific group at the expense of others, you're going to run into trouble. The NBA needs to refocus on what it does best, playing basketball. It needs to drop the social justice activism and return to its roots, but the NBA's decision to go woke might have even more significant consequences. Just wait until this belt tightening starts affecting player paychecks. The NBA is already one of the highest paying sports leagues in the world. With the average player salary hovering around $7 million. But if the league's revenues continue to decline, those salaries could take a hit. So, what's the lesson here? It's simple. When you prioritize activism over your core product, you're playing a dangerous game. The NBA needs to learn from its mistakes and refocus on what it does best, playing basketball. And if other companies want to avoid the same fate, they need to prioritize their customers over their political agendas, that's it for today's episode of the American Republic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates.